Brittany with 4B Farms. Today I am going to be um, harvesting some seeds from my chief red celestius flower, I believe it's called. Um, I got it from Botanical Interest last year and it has been blooming all year and is beautiful. Um, this is the first week of October and it's starting to slowly die back. So I just wanted to cut off a little bit so I can go ahead and start saving the seeds so they don't fall out and I miss my chance. And I wanted to make this video because it is a little more difficult um, to save these seeds because they are so small. And so I just wanted uh, to share how I'm doing it. So over in my back left raised bed back here, I have this one flower. So this was one seed. Um, I had planted multiple seeds and only one came up. I did not know um, how big they got, but I'm thankful only this one came up because it is quite large. It has a lot of different uh, a lot of sh side shoots, I believe they're called, um, and they make beautiful flowers. So up here is where I have already cut off um, the, the main flower that was a lot larger than these. Um, it looked like it was maybe five or six of these, so it, it looked more like a ball um, on top. But these side shoots, they also make these really pretty single flowers um it's just a gorgeous flower um so i wanted to plant more next year but i wanted to save the seeds so the part that i had already cut off i cut it off about a week ago um looked more like this that dried up um part so it was already dying so i cut that off i didn't cut the whole stem um i cut it right below where the flower was so if I was going to cut this one off to save these seeds, I, I cut it probably, you know, a few inches down right around there. And I'll show you what they look like after I've dried them out. I already cut um, some flowers and I wanted to share with you how I'm saving the seeds. So I have um, the Chief Red Celestia, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, and I'll show you a picture of what those look like. I've got them from Botanical Interest uh, last year and I grew them and they are just gorgeous. Um, so I wanted to grow some more because um, not very many seeds came in the package and they're super small. So I wanted to make sure I saved them for sure this time. I plant these flowers um, in the springtime. So they are, um, it is the first week of October and they are still looking beautiful. Um, a little bit of them, um, the top flowers are, have started dying back and I had cut, went ahead and cut that part off and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and I laid it on some newspaper to dry out outside and I'll show you that. Okay, so I had them drying outside. Um, and this is what they look like. You can see all the seeds that have already fallen off. I've already started a pile over here and um, saving them. And I'll show you that process. Okay, so I just pulled off a small piece of the flower. If you can see those little bitty black seeds all in there. So what I do is I just take a piece. Oh, there's a spider. Definitely kill that. Um, and I just gently rub my hand over it, trying to break it apart. And most of the seeds will fall out. So I will go through and just gently kind of rub these out and the seeds will come out. And so I just continue to do this. You can also, um, if you want to do it a little larger, um, a lot of them come out very easily. The longer they're dried out, the easier they come. I probably could have left mine out there to dry a little longer than a week. Um, but that is how I get all the seeds out of this flower to save for next year. But I also will show you because a lot of them have fallen out already. Um, just with the flower sitting on the newspaper outside waiting. So I have done most of this. Um, getting the seeds off with my hands. So this, I believe, is called cha uh, chaff. chaff. Um, and there are still seeds in that. Um, and some of them might be a little harder to get out. So that's when I like to get my um, 
little strainer here and I can put some of the flowers if I'm if I'm wanting more seeds. Uh, I have a lot, but I'll just show you this little technique. Um, it's a little difficult holding the camera and doing this at the same time, um, but I just, you know, kind of push it on the strainer over a plate here or a napkin like I've been doing. Um, and it kind of just pushes them, the seeds out. Um, it'll be a lot easier for y'all if you do it with both hands. Um, but that's also another way to get some seeds out. Um, but the way I done it, uh, you can't see a whole lot of seeds, but if you start pushing this back, um, there are just thousands of seeds. And that one plant that I showed you earlier is from one seed. So I think this is about all I need. Um, so now what I'm going to do with the strainer, um, cause, because I have my whole pile of old flowers that I've already gotten as many seeds as I could out. So now I'm going to be taking this pile um, and putting it in the strainer. Okay, so I am going to be getting as much as I can off of the paper towel into the sifter. Okay, so a lot of the seeds will just fall right through the strainer and that's what we're wanting. We're trying to clean up the seeds. So I'm just gonna shake it very gently and they're just all falling out. And I'll do this several times um, just to clean up um, the seeds and so there's not a bunch of extra flour or leftovers in there. So this is the first time I'm doing the sifter on these. And so I'm just gonna gently um, rub them and kind of push the seeds out because there are seeds in this still that have not come out. Um, I probably should have left it outside to dry a little longer, but I have tons of seeds coming out, so it's not a big deal. But I do wanna try to get out as many seeds as I can. messy process. Um, I'm just going to continue to sift out the seeds from the rest of the flower um, several times. I'm going to gently shake the seeds out. And the more I do this, the more um, seeds will separate from all the uh, the rest of the flour. Then I just start dumping out the flour. Now, yes, some of the seeds do come out um, when you're doing this, but you get so many seeds, uh, it, it's not gonna make a big deal if you lose a few of them because it, these flowers produce just multiple seeds, just tons and tons and tons. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. I can get it as clean as I want it. And that's about it. 
And these are not just perfectly clean, um, but there are tons and tons of seeds. And from me saving my own seeds, I think this is a really good investment um, because I didn't even get half of this many seeds in the packet I bought um, first time last year. So I'm really excited um, to grow these again and grow them um, in different places on my property. And I just wanted to share this experience with y'all on saving these seeds and how easy it was and um, just the process on doing it. I did find my um, seed packet I bought last year. It is the Chief Red Flame Celestia. Um, and so I wanted to show you this picture because I did have one bloom that looked like a circle, uh, kind of a big bulb like that. And that's what I had um, saved the seeds from. Now I showed y'all um, earlier, they do have these little side shoots um, that make smaller um, flowers. Now they're not this big and they don't make bowls, but they are beautiful. Um, so this is, I believe from Botanical Interest, um, it was $1.99 and I only got 30 seeds. And these seeds are so incredibly small um, that they did put them in a small little bitty package. Um, so I'm very thankful that I was able to buy them from uh, Botanical Interest last year. Um, but this year I'm super excited to be growing my own from their seeds um, that I had saved from the flowers we grew this year. So um, like I said, you just cut the flower. You cut the flower as um, it's starting to die back. Um, and then I laid mine out on some newspaper to let it dry out outside for about seven days. Um, and then I brought them in. I showed you how I got the seeds off the flower and try to clean up some of the seeds. So you can actually see the seeds in, when you save them. Um, but you can, and then I put them in a Ziploc bag. So you can see all of the extra um, flour, but it, it's not going to affect uh, when you when you plant them. It's just a little bit of extra uh, dried flour. So uh, a little bit in there doesn't bother me, um, but if it does you, you can just continue to sift it through. Um, also, Another good way is, let's see. I have a few seeds left on here. You can gently blow and it will blow them, uh, blow the extra away, just very gently. It, it's very light and very small. So if you blow too hard, it will all blow out. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, it, they do fly away pretty easily. So you have to be very gentle. Um, and then you can go and save the seeds like that. So that's just a few tips um, in saving these seeds. And what I like to do is put them in a Ziploc bag and I write um, the name of the flower. Chief Red Flame. Celestia, if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And then I also put uh, the year, 2021. Um, just so I know uh, if I do save them next year, um, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to plant this many um, seeds. So that will just give me a good time frame of when I save the seeds and when I need to use them by. All right, friends, I just wanted to show you how I save my seeds um, from this Chief Red Flame Celestius. Um, they are beautiful. If you've never grown them, I would highly recommend them. Um, uh, the first, when you buy seeds, you um, if you buy from Botanical Interest, like I did last year, only 30 seeds came in it. But I planted at least 10 and one did come up. Um, and I was excited about that because I had never planted them before. But it gave me that one plant gave me thousands of seeds. And that was just one flower that I cut off um, to save the seeds from. So you can definitely um, buy them or save them. 
Um, and I hope this was a helpful tutorial on how to save these seeds. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our, like and subscribe to our channel. And I'll talk to you soon.